Park Hill. Uh, we're on the property Pine Ridge. Uh, it's in the Mindoran area. We graze cattle and also uh, boar goats. The property itself is about 1,000 acres or about 420 hectares. Uh, over half of it is uh, given to private native forest. The private native forest is uh, very important to us. Uh, it uh, gives us additional income, which is really great. The benefit is if something goes wrong with one of the enterprises or one of the parts of that enterprise, uh, you can look at the other parts. Those other parts can give you an income or generally do because what affects the cattle doesn't necessarily affect the goats, doesn't necessarily affect the private native forest. I want it to be a good property which will continue for my sons and their sons or daughters or, or whoever takes over from me. Again, sustainability is a key word, um, especially with this side of the road and uh, the other side of the road where the private native forest is. The private native forest uh, has been excellent in that uh, it has given us extra income so that we can use to feed the cattle. Also help with uh, purchasing more troughs for water reticulation uh, because all the dams are starting to dry out. Private native forestry produces not just an income stream for the landholder in terms of the royalty for the timber sold, but also provides a much broader range of products for industry beyond the actual farm gate, which helps support our regional communities um, and overall construction in the state. The forest we're in is dominated by iron bark and we're in the western part of the state. So the PNF code that's applicable in this particular instance is the code of practice for cypress pine and western hardwoods. Good forest management and harvesting should work hand in hand uh, for the outcome. The forest is here for tomorrow, the next day and so on. We don't really want to turn up and, uh, and have one shot at it. It's not in anyone's best interest. It's not for, uh, for the property owner, myself needing a resource further on to keep my business uh, operational um, and also the health of the forest obviously. This will be our recruitment tree, this one Norm. Okay. We're uh, required to uh, leave at least four to the hectare of habitats and this here will grow into recruitment for us. The, the PNF code here working on Pine Ridge, uh, Normark Hills place as such, it, uh, it's great. It's, it's a, a tool that we use here to, uh, to manage the health of the forest but also manage to access a resource that we can utilise and value at. PNF is uh, sort of an integral part uh, because it provides us uh, with the income, uh, it makes the property more viable and sustainable. The forest is a very important part of this property. I want it to be ongoing and sustainable right into the, the future uh, for my children. And I'd like it to still be here uh, in another 100, 200 years. One of the ways of doing that is to select a contractor who not only teaches you things, but listens uh, to what you have to say and abides by the code of practice for the private native forests. The local land services have uh, been fantastic with uh, the private native forest that we have here. Uh, if you had any questions about it or you were unsure about some things, I'd recommend uh, going to see the local land services. Private native forest is a simple pathway for landholders. It's as simple as a phone call through the local land services and we'll support you right the way through to the approval stage and beyond um, to help you achieve the best forest management outcome. Mm -hmm.